everybody welcome back I am the sovereign and this is my court I am wearing the crown of shade while doing a video about a pageant queen which is something I never thought that I would have to do I literally did say in my Miss America reaction video where I did have to drag Miss America that I never really thought that I would have to wear the crown of shade for a pageant queen because <clears throat> I do respect and admire the girls and I never want to be mean to them or seemingly be mean to them in any way. And then here we are, here we are. So before we get into it, I'm sure you guys are seeing, for those of you who are not US citizens, you're seeing what's happening in the United States. Um, if you saw my vlog, you know that I recently moved out of LA maybe two weeks before all of this happened and yet the disrest over the George Floyd matter and the eruption of the black community's emotions in general have spread all across the United States and what you're seeing is just the black community explode. It is a buildup of tension that has been building up over years, over years of being gaslit and mistreated and abused and people not listening to us and all those emotions are finally come out, coming out and it has not been the best experience for me. Um, I handled it well when it first happened and of course I'm very supportive but number one seeing these things I've been seeing these the world that you're seeing the United States live in right now is the world that the black community has been living in for years and people told us it didn't exist but now that it is front and center and now that it is on the news and everybody's outraged about it the black community has been living this for a long time um, seeing this continuously happening happening waking up every day to something awful to police you know doing things to protesters who are being peaceful all of this it is draining it is draining I am emotionally drained I am physically drained yesterday um the day before yesterday I filmed two videos I filmed a spotlight for you guys I filmed a video about George Floyd and then I, the next day I couldn't bring myself to edit it I couldn't bring myself to do it. It requires me rewatching the same content again, so I can't. It's taken a toll. And the reason that I am dressed down right now, you know, this is not normally how I would appear in court. I'm very lax today, which is fine, you know, but um, <clears throat> I woke up this morning to several things. But one thing was my hometown trending on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. All the links are in the description box below. Um, Things are happening in my hometown and we have a protest scheduled for 12:30. I am not exactly sure how it is going to turn out. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be peaceful or if the police are going to do something awful. No matter what happens, I'm prepared for either side and I will be there. Honestly, if you've been following me on Twitter, you know that I've been trying to get a plane flight to DC because I do stand by my word and I have no problem going to war, but if I want to go to war, you guys know that I go for the top. I go for the head. So if I'm going to go for, to war, I want the president. That's who I want. I want to go to the White House, but I can't. The plane fights are about $400 right now, and if I can get it down to like three or $200, then I'll go, but I can't find one yet. So I'm filling you in on what's happening on my side of things, and it was very hard for me to decide to come and do this video. It wasn't hard to decide, but it was hard to force myself to be in that mindset to come and do this video. But I feel like I'm in a unique position where I'm the most appropriate person to speak on this matter because I am both of the black community and of the pageant community. So now that I've given you guys all the background of what's going on in my life and whatnot, um, let's get to the actual pageant queen. Samantha Katie James was the representative for 2017 uh, Miss Universe competition. She represented Malaysia. I first saw this happen on Twitter and several of you, thank you, one person came to my Twitter account and told me about it and there's other people that came to my Instagram DMs that told me about it. I initially saw it myself on Twitter and I didn't know she was a pageant queen at first. I just thought that this was a, a deplorable human being um, saying stupid things, just as people do. Um, Lord, but when I found out she was a pageant queen, when I found out she was a pageant queen, I'm gonna reach over here and grab my cell phone because right before I started this, I did a little bit of background research just to be sure I had all my ducks in a row and apparently there are some posts that she made that I guess she deleted or that I didn't see so it's worse than I even thought. So Samantha Katie James was a representative for Miss Universe representing Malaysia. She for whatever reason she is not black decided to get on Instagram and post these Instagram story posts and I'm going to read some of them. One of them says, and this is the one that I just minutes ago found out about, it says, I don't live in America. It has nothing to do with me. But to me, it seems like the whites won. 
Because if you're angry and you respond in rage and anguish, that means it has power over you. They have power over you. Foolish humans. And I'm gonna say number, I'll get to the end. the end of that, she's right. They have power over us, but that's why the black community is pissed off. They're taking power that they are not owed and they are not due. They do, they, I, no one is owed power over me. No one should have power over me other than um, the, just, the criminal justice system and the government to a certain extent, but they don't have the power to take my life. You know, and most states don't have the death penalty, but still you don't have the power to just take my life and get away with it without facing criminal charges criminal court it's it's completely tone deaf before i really start getting in on this let's read another one of the posts this is the post that i actually saw that triggered me to the black people relax take it as a challenge it makes you stronger you choose to be born as a colored person in america for a reason to learn a lesson accept it as it is Till now, hunger and poverty still exist. It is what it is. It's inevitable. Best you can do is remain calm, protect your heart, and don't allow it to crumble. It's your responsibility. This is the first post that I saw, and all that, this is all I needed. And then just a few minutes ago, I found another post. This girl has lost her mind, and I can't believe it's a pageant girl. I cannot believe it is a pageant girl. And before I tear her to shreds, I want the pageant girls to know you guys know that on YouTube, I am your biggest fan. I am your biggest supporter. I, I basically call you girls my girls. Like, I love you. And Danny Walker and Sierra Burchell, you guys can fight me for the title of bi biggest YouTube pageant fan. You can fight me if you want to, but I'm not going to let you have it. Love those ladies, okay? Seriously, no shade. Those those women are amazing. Uh, still the biggest one. I'm, I'm so petty. Let me stop. <laughs> um, but... I am your fan and I will give you guys a lot of leeway when it comes to forgiveness, when it comes to mistakes. I do not expect these women to be absolutely perfect and I'm not gonna punish you for it. I know a lot of the pageant community expects absolute crystal perfection from these girls. I don't, I love your flaws. I love your quirkiness, the little mistakes. I make mistakes and I, I don't freak out about it. I know that I accidentally called, um, well, it was mislabeled on Google. Venezuela's dress on Google is labeled as Columbia, and I had all the Google documents, obviously, because I had the pictures of the dress, but the dress was labeled as Columbia, which is why I wrote it down as Columbia, but when I found out it was Venezuela, it was just kind of like an oops moment. Whoopsie doo, it's nothing to cry over, it's a simple mistake. I've accidentally burped on camera, kept it in the video, and kept it pushing. Most of you guys didn't even notice, but I don't expect the utmost perfection from these girls if, if they slip up, or if they happen to use profanity, I'm not gonna get mad. They're being real, they're being themselves. And as long as it's not used in a horrible derogatory way, I accept the way these people are naturally. But this is not a mistake. This is not a slip up. This is not a mishap. This is a woman who was not involved and not even of this country deciding to involve herself, knowing that she's not involved because she said she's not involved. She involved herself and then decided to go against the struggling population and say, First of all, you chose to be black. I do not remember. I do not remember before my soul was born into a body, having a conversation with God and Jesus and them giving me a form and saying, what What would you like your body to be? What would you like? Because I'm pretty sure most of us, most of us would not have chosen to be of a less privileged class. I'm just saying, as much as I love the tan that I have, I'm not going to, why is there random music? I think that's my neighbor and they might be going to the protest. I don't know, but most of us are not just going to choose to be of a less privileged class, no matter how good my tan looks. I love being black though. I don't know where she got the idea that she, we chose to be black, okay? We chose to be colored. She said colored, you guys. And then she said, she said, accept it. She said, accept it. It is what it is. The whites won, accept it. That's one thing you should never tell me to do. Cause that's one thing that I have a habit of not doing. I'm never going to accept anything. I'm not going to accept failure. I'm not going to accept mediocrity. I am not going to set, accept lackluster effort. I'm never going to accept it and nobody should. No one should accept the bad things happening in the world because they feel powerless. Nothing would ever change in the world if we were to simply lie down and accept the abuses and atrocities committed in the world, in any nation, in any country. So just accept it as that, 
that is the least inspiring thing I have ever heard ever and I when I found out this was a pageant queen I nearly lost my mind I have never seen a pageant queen say anything like this never seen a pageant queen go this far you pageant queens make mistakes but they don't make these types of mistakes and we're not gonna act like she didn't know better because she has been a representative on an international stage with international competitors from every corner of the globe. She is educated and knows better. She knew better. So this is the person who just showed her true colors. She knows, but she doesn't care. And she doesn't care to understand. And she doesn't care to be empathetic. And we're gonna get into her apology because with the other post that she did post on there, was letting people know she didn't care because she's like, whatever, let's just get on the trending page. Cause she knew she was gonna trend about it and she did not care. And once again, my pageant girls, I love you to death and you know I do. I never mean any disrespect to any of you. I support you to the fullest. I will go to bat for you. I will go to, I went to bat for the Miss America girls. You guys know that I will. And though I love you, if any pageant queen gets it in their head that they want to disrespect the pageant community or Miss Universe or any of the other organizations, disrespect the sash that they wear, misrepresent their own countries, or as a member of the pageant community outwardly disrespect an entire country or population or ethnic group, if you want to sit there and be a pageant queen having, I don't even care if you're a past pageant queen, if you want to wear, if you ever wore a sash on your chest having represented anything, and you say something that is racist, just, I don't even, just racist. I will personally drag you over the searing, fiery coals of the seven rings of hell. I will do it personally, barefooted, and book you a stay there. It is not acceptable, and it is disgraceful, and it is infuriating. If you really wanna get me mad? That's how you do it. There is nothing anyone can say to me in the comments. I don't want to hear it. I am a black woman and you are not going to tell me how to feel about this. I was already pissed. But to see a woman who should know better, who aspired to be a representative to the world, say these things about black people? You deserve to be dragged by me, by Twitter, and they got you. They got you. Let's read her apology. You guys remember when I showed you how much she wanted to be trending, right? How much she wanted to be trending? I'm very active on Twitter. Sis, if you want to trend, I will help you trend. We got her trending. And though she said she didn't care, she sure did show up with an apology. And she sure did turn those comments off, didn't she? Let's read this. I do hear you. I'm sorry. I know you're hurting and that it's unfair. I'm not in your shoes to understand this fully. Yes, you're not. You should have shut up about it. If you know you don't understand, shut up up today is blackout tuesday because this is the day where black people are supposed to be speaking and everybody else is supposed to be listening and learning to the things we've been trying to teach you for years today's the day where you were supposed to shut up and instead she went off on social media i can't let's continue with this nonsense furthermore you asked me to explain what i meant by black people choose to be black is that throughout my journey i have learned that we are more than just this temporary physical body like an avatar merely a tiny speck of dust in the this vast infinite universe we tend to overlook that from time to time in our process towards evolution as a human being on earth we choose our body our family our place of birth our name and our lessons from the path we take tailor made for us bullshit this is an apology this is not an apology she made it worse in the comments, please let me know if you got to choose any of things. Please, in the comments, let me know if you got to choose your body, your family, your place of birth, your name, your race. Did, I didn't get to choose none of those. None. Not one. My name was almost Peressa. That was my mom's second pick as a baby name. I had no choice in anything. Thank God my name is Devana. I love my name, but it, I did not get to have a say in anything. I did not get to choose my family. I didn't... What... Malaysia, Malaysia, get, get your girl, get your girl, please get her. Somebody get her. There is more. I'm trying to hang on for dear life to my sanity right now. I'm trying to keep, keep it cool. I'm trying, even though it's a hundred degrees. Oh, I'm already hot. I understand a lot of people have shared that I could have phrased my content differently or you could have shut up, but okay. And I accept that I am responsible for my words. Yes, you are, sis. 
I will make sure I articulate my speech in a proper manner. That's funny because this entire apology is an atrocity. To clear the air, yes, I did poorly articulate myself when writing black people choose to be black and that black people relax, take it as a challenge, it makes you stronger. If I had been more attentive in how I wrote it, the message would have would off been understand as a heartfelt message to all victims of racism, be it any color. Sis, how can you say that when right in the previous slide of this same Instagram post, you just said once again that we choose our body, our family, our place of birth, our name, our lessons, like you just said it again. You just repeated what you're apologizing for. You make no sense. This is how I know that you're lying and it's not heartfelt and you're just mad because you're getting the backlash. And then she ended it off with saying, yes, my mother is Chinese Mal Malaysian, my father is Brazilian, and my foster parents who raised me are Indian Malaysian, and you're still a horrible human being. All these people input into this, you know, woman, and she still turned out to be a human, an awful human being, and I'm not even done, I'm not even done. I don't know how long this video is, it's gonna be a full dragging though, because I don't care. I don't care. On Blackout Tuesday, when I'm over here struggling, struggling to get out of bed, struggling to to work and do anything, struggling to edit videos, I have, I have, backlogged videos that I have not edited because I don't have the spirit and soul in me to do it. All I can do is look at my little brother and pray that no one ever does anything to him. There's more, you guys, there's more, and I'm trying to keep it cool, but I'm so upset right now, and I still have to go protest today, and I know that I'm probably gonna get shot at, but okay. All right, let me, let me bring it in, okay? Cause there's more. After finding out all of this, you guys know that I am a sleuth, I'm an internet sleuth, and I, I will see if I can dig up anything else, possibly dig up anything else. I read people's comments, I go all over the internet, and digging through stuff on Instagram, I found a video of a, <laughs> from a smaller Instagram account who had a video from this woman and it allegedly, she was in South Africa in 2017 when this happened. She was currently a representative of Malaysia. At this time, she was wearing a sash. Not in the video she's wearing a sash, but she was currently a crown queen at this time, allegedly. I'm gonna show you the video. This is why you are underground. You, we are underground, Sorry, but you are in David. our country. You are the fucking underground. You are never gonna be you out there. there. Malaysia never gonna be there. is better but you, than this fucking country. But you are here. Yes, you are here. We are you cannot tell me that shut up, okay? She's talking Thank about you. my country, okay? Tell her to shut up, okay? You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Look at your fucking... Look at you. You look... You want to Déjala, Brendi, déjala, 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 quítate de ahí, quítate de ahí, quítate de ahí, quítate de ahí, quítate, quítate de ahí, quítate de ahí, que no existe ningún problema, quítate de ahí, que se la van a llevar de presa. So in this video you can see that she is degrading the African people trying to stand up for their country and saying Malaysia is so much better than this poor, broke, you know, underdeveloped country. And then she's yelling at the people for being offended that, at what she's saying. She clearly looks intoxicated. She looks like she's intoxicated and I'm not making any excuses for that. Ladies, I don't care if you drink. I don't care if you get drunk. I don't care if I get a picture of you twerking, having a good time with your friends, with your hands in the air. I don't care. Have fun, I do it too. But when you're drunk, you don't lie. It will loosen you up. It definitely will loosen you up. And all of your inner secrets, all of your inner thoughts and words will come out. This woman is like this. This is who she is. And it's appalling because she was being a representative to the world, to Malaysia. She was being drunk and unruly towards black people and then became violent towards the black people speaking out in self-defense and started swinging at people and throwing glasses. I know that women can be catty. I know that pageant queens can be catty. We're very competitive, we're very ambitious. We compete on every single level. Pageant girls, we compete with our intelligence, our looks, our walks, our everything. So I get a little bit of cattiness. And like I said, I am not going to fault queens for being 
a little bit overzealous, a little bit catty. I'm, I'm very, I'm extremely forgiving. This is not, this is not something that is forgiving. This is not something that even the drunkest woman would do. I've only been drunk once in my life and I did it on purpose and I did it by myself, but I did it so that I could test out to see what type of person I would be if I was drunk because I, I, I needed to know. That's something I think everyone should know. You need to know the type of person you are. And I'm happy to know that no matter how much I drink, no matter how much I drink, I could get absolutely blackout drunk. I would never say what she said. I would never say what she said. If anything, I'm a lot nicer. I'm a lot more friendly if I'm drinking. I don't really like drinking because alcohol usually tastes nasty, but still, I know myself. Drinking just unleashes the true you. This, I'm, this woman is just atrocious. I'm just gonna end it with it. The, the, she's atrocious. You're atrocious and you're an embarrassment to the pageant community and I could not believe that she was a pageant girl. I will drag you. Let, just know, ladies, as much as I love you, I do have a line. And if you cross the line, I will drag you with viciousness. And I do not feel bad about it because it felt good. It felt good knowing that I have to, I had to wake up to this and now I have to go protest not knowing what's going to happen to me because I'm still a black woman on the streets and the cops are unjustly shooting people with a whole bunch of tear gas and whatnot. So if I come, when I come back to YouTube, I might have some bruises. I might be arrested for the first time. They have been arresting protesters who were peacefully protesting for no reason. The cops have absolutely lost it out here, but I'm going to go no matter what. I'm going no matter what, knowing that I may be shot at. I may get hurt, may get arrested, may get tased, may get maced, may get gassed. I know that and I'm still going because that is the right thing to do. Because there are still people in the world like Samantha who think we deserve it, who think we need to shut up about it and just take it. I will not. I will fight you and the president. I will not. I will not. And if I get a plane flight to uh, DC, I will let you know and I will film as much as I possibly can. I don't think, if I, I said on Twitter, if I am able to get a ticket to DC, I don't have friends there. I don't know where I'm going to stay. So I most likely will be sleeping right outside of the White House. And I do not care. If this is what I have to do, then I will do it. So nobody, don't, people, people thought from my other videos that I was just the type of girl to sit in front of a camera and be tough. I never lied. Not once. And I'm going to stop ranting now because I'm already upset. And I haven't even started the real battle yet today. I have one hour until protest time. So leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm sure people have a lot to say about this. Um, yes, I was very impassioned at this. Yes, I was very angry, but I think I was justified. And honestly, I could I could have went a lot harder, but I didn't. So even now I'm having some self restraint, but let me know what your thoughts on the matter are in the comment section. I'm going to try to get my soul in line to do an upload about the protesting mat I'm, I'm trying I just I'm not in the same mental state right now no none of us are none of the black the black community is we're on fire and we're hurt and we're crying and and I feel it um, Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if you are not a member of the court, consider hitting the subscribe button. I do all types of content. I keep up with the news. Of course, I do pageant content. You'll see lots of different fun things happening on the channel. Nails, makeup, hair, like we're doing it all over here. So please consider joining us. I will be doing a video when we reach 20,000 subscribers, which we are extremely close to. I'm gonna make sure you guys get that video no matter how I'm feeling because I do have some surprises in store for you, some some things that you are able to freely partake in. I'm very excited for you guys to be a part of this. So welcome to court, all of my courtiers. I love you, I'll miss you. Please everyone be safe, be supportive, be understanding, and if you do not understand, educate yourself, all right? I love you. I'll be back in a different video. Bye.